they really kept you off the line tonight, the Clippers did. How did that change things for, for you guys, you not being able to get to the line quite as often as you did? Uh, I think I, I could have been a little bit more aggressive. Um, just, just too passive, you know, just too passive. James, James, can you back in? Uh, what was the performance of, you know, uh, Austin Rivers definitely tonight? He had an explosive game. How did that throw you guys out of sync as far as defensive in the scheme of against him? Uh, he was aggressive. You know, he was aggressive. He made uh, shots, some, some three-pointers early, which uh, gave him confidence. So um, I don't think he was he was the problem you know, in, in the game. I think just early in the game from the beginning, um, they were getting a lot of easy buckets, uh, which gave them a lot of confidence uh, throughout the game. James, when you talk about you weren't aggressive and you're passive, is that because of what they were doing to you? You trying to think too much? Why do you think that? A little is? bit of both. A little bit of both. Uh, you know, they're a really good defensive team, especially when <clears throat> they get set. So you just got to do a better job of moving the basketball and just being aggressive. Any other questions? One more right here. Uh, in this series, you know, Coach McHale talked about you guys have played maybe one good defensive half that might have been game two. What's your thoughts on defensively how you guys have performed? I give up 100 and 27 points, you know, that's not really good defense, you know, so in order for us to have a chance in the series, we got to play some, some really good defense, and uh, we're very capable of doing that. <clears throat> hey James, you're able to help your team a lot this year, we're just getting the victory, especially when Dwight was out. What can you lean on with that stretch and apply to here? Just our principles, you know, the things that, that has gotten us this far. Which is, you know, one of them is our defense. You know, that's what we relied on. We got stops. We got out in transition, and uh, you know, we created opportunities for each other. <coughs> Excuse me. If we're not getting those stops, then you know, it puts the pressure on our offense too much, and uh, um, that was the case tonight. James, your overall feeling about being down two one in the series, and with this last game being a blowout, what's your feeling? I mean, you lose blowout, but it's still one game. You know, it doesn't make it. You know, it doesn't make it two or three games. You know. Um, we know that we have another good opportunity on Sunday to tie this thing up. And um, like I said, we've been through adversity all year, and, and, and here's another case for it. James, how did Chris Paul change his offense for the Clippers from games one to games two? I mean, he, he handles the ball. I mean, he, he uh, you know, he makes he makes the play, and, and you know, he knocked out some big threes tonight. But um, like I said, we just got to be better. You know, we got to be more focused and locked in on, on you know, our schemes and, and our matchups, and uh, we'll, we'll be all right. Last yeah. question. You individually, you seem to have gotten off to a slow start in each one of the games. Have you been waiting for it to come to you, and is that something that needs to change to change that passive? Yeah, you passive? know what? I, I mean, I've been you know, trying to be a passer, you know, I mean, trying to you know, get the assist or, or whatnot, just the way the defense is. But you know, at the same time, I got to, you know, still be an aggressive and, and, and be in attack mode. Um, we saw a little bit, little bit of that in, in game two, um, especially in that second half. So, um, you know, we'll watch the film. We'll get better, and uh, we're, we're ready to go game four. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you.